it's not our first experiment and it's not our first time when our reporters are working undercover to see how um, money are coming from Russia and how they are paid and for what, and to see the messages. Uh, we made this experiment two years ago when we had four reporters infiltrated in the groups and we showed it, it was first time and uh, a lot of things shocked the society. Uh, but uh, we see that the enemy evolves very quickly. They might be considered stupid, but they evolve very fast. So if uh, a year ago the money were coming in cash, in bags, brought uh, by plane, by people who travel to Moscow and come back, uh, then the state authorities took some measures, arrested some people, uh, took the money. And then they uh, decided to work by uh, bank cards. And they sent uh, a bag of bank cards to people. But then the bank cards were um, not possible to be activated in Moldova. And then they started to work, uh, and this was the surprise of this investigation, they started to work by um, software uh, in the phone from a bank, an application from a bank. Uh, but then the state authorities learned that and they blocked that software by uh, mobile operators. And then uh, the idea was uh, that the person will collect all the money from, uh, from the application, from, other, the, from the whole group, and will go to Transnistrian region to go to banks there, because they have Russian banks there and they'll bring the money back to Moldova. So this was the surprise to show how much um, they change and evolve every day. If something is blocked, they immediately create another uh, way to solve the problem. It was, of course, difficult for them <laughs> uh, because they collect in their network mostly um, old people uh, because old people are not well informed and it is easier to corrupt or to convince them uh, to do an illegal thing. Uh, but when you have more old people, it is not so easy to um, work with software and with application and with the mobile devices. Uh, that's why our reporter was nicely accepted in the network because she was smart and doing uh, things uh, fast. And those guys from the head of the network were happy to see her willing to help all those old people to, to get the application and to explain them and to be polite. This person who was uh, the head of that local organization, uh, when we checked uh, her, let's say, CV or how to say, we found out that she actually had stolen money before, she had some criminal things before, and then she collects, of course, some guys uh, who struggle with poverty or struggle with disinformation and don't understand things. So all these guys, this guy uh, is a former policeman, uh, he has criminal problems too, this guy too, so everybody in this structure is not a clean person. And then, of course, they come as a magnet for other people who don't understand how the system works or what will happen and see a promise of mine. Because they don't tell to people that we are corrupt or we are criminals or we are related to a criminal. They promise uh, something good to, to everybody. So there would be a small number of people who have Soviet Union nostalgia. And I think this uh, group of people is from those who were brought by Soviet Union in uh, 1940s uh, here. They were provided apartments, place to work, and uh, they provided this, uh, how to say, statute of the most important people in the society. They were told, uh, you are the most important and Moldovans are stupid and bad, so you have to teach them how to live. We thought that still people go for an idea of being happy with uh, Russia or Soviet Union, but almost all the voices were saying, we are here for money, if they don't pay us, we never come back. Uh, how They should give us more money because we participate in meetings, 
I don't believe in that, but I need money. Why do you ask me to have a phone? You just give me money. I don't need the, uh, any other orders from you and things like that. So it is uh, showing clear that uh, there is no idea behind or no belief uh, behind that. They just uh, uh, thought this is a form of business. It is very painful for reporters when they see they worked a lot and they risked a lot. And there are no actions from authorities. Or uh, we had many cases when authorities took protective actions toward uh, the criminals and uh, took aggressive measures against reporters. Uh, finally, two guys from this ring were, were arrested. Uh, we don't want that they are arrested or I don't know what. We want justice. We want to see that uh, the law works and those who committed uh, uh, bribing of uh, voters uh, pay um, according to the law and are punished according to the law.